Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. In this lesson, we are going to be moving our student MS data from Excel to Word for any other purpose. So let's quickly do that. Now, before we do that, let's quickly check on the. Let's open the folder, and inside the uh, SMS training folder which we have created, <coughs> I don't know the name. Sorry, you have given to yours. Let's click inside the folder and then choose MS Word new Word document. So we just give it a STD or ST student MS data or student MS info. Good. So STD and the student and miss info. So we just um, double click, hit the enter key twice to open it. So let's just go to page layout and change the orientation to landscape. Perfect. Now let's just go ahead and then uh, we want to use a function called uh, insert mail merge. So before we do that, let's quickly. Um, uh, Go back to our MS Word and then open, uh, sorry, Excel workbook and open it so that we can copy everything from there, transfer it into Word before we can format it there and then go ahead and use the memory. So let's go to the student MS table. Here we go with it. So we're going to copy all this we have here. We're going to copy it. So control C to copy and then let's minimize it. So control V to paste it here. Before any other thing, let's just go ahead and clear the copying here and close this. And we can go ahead and then format this appropriately. So we have all this displayed here for us. So I think we are good to go. With this, let's just go ahead and add uh, something here like total. So that we can get the total for all the boys, girls, and then the grand total to here. So that is that. So let's just go ahead and then format it appropriately. So select it, come to home. Uh, the font style times new Roman. We would like to bold it so we can increase the font size a bit. So we are good to go with that. So to use the insert mail merge function, we come to mailings, then let's go to select recipient and go to use existing lists. So in here, we can just locate our SMS training folder. So we have it here. So let's just select it and then open it. So let's locate the student's MS data. So this is it. Be careful when selecting it. We have student MS table, student details, no. Student MS data, select that. Then you click on OK. Now let's come back to insert um, merge field. So here we go. So but before we do anything at all, let's let's try to adjust here a bit. Adjust this two a bit. And adjust this two a bit. This two a bit. So that you have enough space for remarks. Good. So let's just click inside here. Insert match and um, match fields so on the kg1 we have mail so let's just go to this and see what is happening there so you can see that the number of mail we have in our table has been what um, entered here automatically so that is that so let's just undo that action and continue so we come under girls so we go for kg1 female so we come to total and we, we go to the uh, kg1 uh, total so we are done with that let's come to kg2 so let's locate uh, kg2 male 1 and then here let's locate female 1 and then here total 1 so the next one is going to be male 2 female 2 total 2 in that order so let's just be locating those things and be selecting them so we have let me see so now we need total 1 is there now male 2 let's locate male 2 let's locate female 2 Let's locate total two. Let's locate male two here and male three. Female three. And then total three. And 
let's look at male four. Let's look at female four. Let's look at total four. Let's look at male five. Let's look at female five. Let's look at total five. Let's look at male six. Let's look at female six. We'll get total six. Let's look at male seven. Let's look at female seven. Let's look at total seven. Let's look at male eight. Let's look at female eight. Let's look at total eight. Let's look at male nine. Female nine. Total nine. Total nine. Let's look at um, male ten. Female ten. And total ten. Let's check on all male, all female, and then grand, uh, grand got them total. So there we go. Let's just go to view results. So everything is appearing in there perfectly for us. So let's just select the entire field here and format it appropriately. Let's go home, bold, font style to times new Roman. Increase the font size to 12, 14, or whatever. Uh, you can just go, uh, okay, let's decrease it by one. Okay. Yeah, we'll adjust that later. So let's just center the text so we are good to go from there. Good. So let's just check the print preview. Got some tests out, so let's just figure out that and fix it. So there we go. Let's just drag this up a bit we are good to go so we have everything in here so let's just go back to print preview again and confirm good so we have everything intact so we can just go ahead and execute our printing so control s to save so we are done with this we are done perfectly with this so i'll end this lesson here in our next lesson we're going to move that of the teachers and this data straight to word and do exactly the same so it's our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching and bye for now